Wednesday, August 11th, 2021 will mark the 40th year since the first meeting of six soon to be founders of Gay Man's Health Crisis, the world's first HIV AIDS service organization and their supporters in the late Larry Kramer's living room. We take this time to honor the start of GMHC and how much more we must do. We honor those who have passed and those who we continue to help through our services and other HIV AIDS service organizations. Starting all the way back in 1981, when 80 men gathered in writer Larry Kramer's apartment to address the gay cancer and to raise money for research. It's a lot of people in one little apartment, if you ask me. 1982, GMAC is officially established by Nathan Fain, Larry Kramer, Larry Mass, Paul Popham, Paul Rappaport, and Edmund White. A huge year indeed for GMHC, including the opening of its first office on West 22nd Street, launching the world's first hotline for people living with AIDS, and producing and distributing 50,000 free copies of GMHC's first newsletter to doctors, hospitals, clinics, and to the Library of Congress. GMHC sponsors their first major fundraising events for AIDS in 1983, a benefit performance of the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus. Within that same year, GMHC also provides funds litigation of the first AIDS discrimination suit by Lambda Legal Defense and Education Fund. Safer Sex Guidelines is published for the first time in 1984, titled Healthy Sex is Great Sex. 1985 is the year GMHC held an art auction at Sotheby's. The success of the event deems the auction the world's first million dollar AIDS fundraiser. Amazing! A New York production of The Normal Heart by playwright Larry Kramer opens in 1985 as well. The first major play to showcase early days of the AIDS epidemic. Approximately one year later, in 1986, the world's first AIDS walk takes place in New York with over 4,500 walkers who raise $710,000. 1988 marks another great stepping stone as GMAC consolidates its array of programs in a new six-story headquarters on West 20th Street. Okay for the two-block move. The year 1990 is the year of GMHC's first latex ball. Only one part of the initiative to give back and provide outreach services to the underground Black and Latinx ballroom community. GMHC services are consolidated in 1997 in the Tisch building on West 24th Street. GMHC's David Geffen Center for HIV Prevention and Education begins providing on-site HIV testing and counseling services, also within the same year. The Beyond 200 Sexual Health Survey launches in 1998 in New York City and is the largest survey of gay and bisexual men since the beginning of the epidemic. GMHC study published in Newsday reports on estimated 69,000 people in New York State have HIV but remain unaware of it. Times change as the start of the millennium. The year 2000, GMHC's AIDS hotline becomes accessible through email. 2005 is the celebration of the AIDS wall. New York's 20th year running raising a record-breaking $5.8 million. The world's largest private AIDS fundraising event benefiting GMHC and many other tri-state HIV AIDS service organizations. GMHC's Action Center participants took the honor to travel to Washington, Albany, and City Hall in 2007 to speak directly with elected representatives as constituents and advocates. Mobile and on-site testing programs expand in 2010, ensuring greater service in higher risk neighborhoods throughout all of New York City. Very, very, very important. The relocation of GMHC to 446 West 33rd Street takes place in 2011. Once again, moving on up. In 2015, CEO Kelsey Louie is named to New York Governor Andrew Cuomo's Ending the Epidemic Task Force, which develops the final blueprint to end the HIV and AIDS epidemic in New York City by 2020. 
don't get me started on 2020 now. The Terry Brainus Hub for Long-Term Survivors launches in 2018, a program to support people who identify as long-term HIV survivors in their efforts to lead healthy and rewarding lives. The offices are moved to 307 West 38th Street within the same year, and that's home. The start of GMHC's National Resource Center on HIV and Aging takes place in 2019. A new partnership also arises with community-based organizations in Mississippi for the Southern Impact HIV Prevention Initiative. 2020's pandemic does not hold GMHC's initiative back at all. Responding to the COVID-19 pandemic by providing remote services to clients living and affected by HIV and AIDS. GMHC partners with ACREA to release RHOA 2.0 reports on older adults living with HIV in New York State and Chicago. All of this leading down to 2021, our current year. GMAC scores several wins in legislation, fighting to pass bills that will expand PrEP and PEP access, and also allowing for a new X gender marker on driver's license and ID cards. An incredible milestone that age GMAC's objective greatly. Yes, God. In honor of over 20 highlighted milestones, the hundreds of thousands of people who aided to make this possible, and the resiliency of the Gay Men's Health Crisis Organization. Let's all say congratulations on honoring 40 years of hard work and dedication to the cause. Thank you, GMHC, for being the first in the fight. We're looking forward to achieving more milestones necessary to bring us even closer to accomplishing our main objective. End the AIDS epidemic and uplift the lives of all affected. Happy 40th anniversary to the gay man's health crisis. Hip hip, hooray. Happy Founders Day.